Well, you've trimmed the tree, hung the stockings, and wrapped the gifts. Now it's time to sweeten up the holiday with some decadent desserts. Today we're making some presidential pastries mm -hmm. with former White House executive pastry chef Bill Yasis. He just opened Palais by Perfect Pie on the Upper East Side. Did I get it all right? You did. <laughs> Thank you so much for having Welcome. me. Welcome. Thank you Thank for you. being here. So Thanks. really quickly, before we start this, because I thought it was interesting, how did you get to become the executive pastry chef for the Bush administration and the Obama administration? Well, they don't tell you. Uh, yeah. You just get the phone call one day, and of course, it sounds like a prank to begin with, but then <laughs> turned out to be true, and it was an honor and a privilege, of course, to be there every day. Yeah, that's nice. amazing. That yeah. is. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you so much for being here. What are you going to make, be making? So we're making blueberry pie today, mm -hmm. one of my favorites, and we have just a few secrets and tricks that I want to introduce to you and mm -hmm. to the viewers. Yes. Um, pie making is kind of a lost <laughs> art, it seems. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, it's people are, it's time consuming, I have to admit, but we have a few things that we can do here to make things go quick. Mm -hmm. So one is you can make a large quantity of pie dough and then just freeze it in uh, like individual portions like ah. this and uh, bring it out when you're ready to make the pie. So this, we use these um, disposable, this is called Novocart, it's a disposable pie shell which you can use um, to make your pie. So that goes in there like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna use this as the top next. And then if I could have you add yeah. this into the, our boiling mixture there. Can I use um, this? Yeah, okay. yeah that's, that's the best way. And these are blueberries, blueberries with? These are blueberries with orange zest. So orange I like zest. to use citrus zest. Uh, in the pie fillings, either lemon, lime, or orange. No matter Gives what, a, you're, no matter what you're making. Almost everything, I think, is improved by citrus zest. It just mm -hmm. adds a little more, um, just sort of uh, freshness, freshness maybe? and acidity that balances out the flavors. Okay. So here, the other trick is, I, I don't cook the berries after. I don't cook all the berries. Let me put it that way. Cook half of them, and then you see, we just put those in fresh, mm -hmm. and then we'll turn off the heat. And that way you get a fresher, more natural flavor. And also it doesn't turn into just totally liquid. So mm -hmm. you have the, the natural juices there that, uh, that hold the berry in place. Uh, so then we, and this is the reason I say that this can be done more quickly is that you can do this in steps, sort of like assembly line. You can make your shell, freeze it. Mm -hmm. You can even pre-bake that off if you want. Then you have your filling here. Then you put it into the pie like that. And then at that point, you sort of use a little egg wash as glue. So you, you put this around here. Uh -huh. So all of this could be done in advance a few days before. But the important thing is to bake the pie the day of because pie has a, a very short shelf life. I mean, for me, mm -hmm. I think, you know, four hours, six hours, it can do overnight 24 mm -hmm. hours, but in, in theory, we'd like it to be um, fresh. So egg wash there, and then we're gonna also egg wash around here. So this, when the egg cooks as part of the pie dough, it holds it together. Mm -hmm. But this is why I say you save time because you can make it this far and then you just put this cover on it. And don't forget to cut vents in the center, yes. as you okay. see over here. Right, right, right. The vents uh, allow the steam to escape so that you don't like, it doesn't you know, just overflow wherever it wants to. It, it overflows right in one well, center While you're point. doing this, I'm just curious. Yes. Uh, the Obamas and the Bushes, their favorite pies. Uh, oh, easy. Um, uh, President uh, George W. Bush loved peach pie. Mm -hmm. I, I, can, I can still remember uh, you know, <laughs> the first day I made that. And uh, so I knew I, I had the job. Um, <laughs> And um, that, and for uh, well, for President Obama, I would say it sort of developed his his policy on pie developed. Oh, really? And, yeah. Oh, so <laughs> yes, it was uh, to start out. It was banana cream pie, uh -huh. and then I think that was decided to be a little bit too rich. So then we went into fruit pies, but oh. uh, always uh, Michelle, you gotta right. Eat right. Yes. Uh, right. And but uh, it was limited to a, you know maybe one or two a week. Who had more of a sweet tooth? President oh, Obama. President Bush by far. Yes. <laughs> never, never met a dessert he didn't like. Oh. Wonderful man. Wonderful man. What's the biggest yeah. mistake people make with, uh, when they make pies themselves? Uh, well, oh, I know what it is. So it's when rolling out the pie dough, mm -hmm. not flipping it over, or not putting enough flour on here. So it, you see what I just did there, roll it out. It looks like everything's fine, but sometimes if you don't flip it, you, it's stuck to the table. Right. Right. So you're like scraping it off. That's right. when the cursing starts. <laughs> exactly. I've heard. I've heard. <laughs> and how long do you cook this or bake it for? Uh, so once it's like this, after, uh, after, because this saves you time too, you're, you're pre-cooking it here. This is about 30 minutes at 350. Thank you so much. Thank you. 